Hey friends, welcome to Generation Tech. Now you all know Jar Jar Binks was a force user, right? There's clues to his force abilities when he manages to win fights accidentally in the prequels. And there's also an episode of The Clone Wars where he pretends to be a Jedi, pretty successfully. A Jedi? Jedi? Where's a Jedi? I do believe they mean you. But did you ever think about some of the stuff that Han Solo pulled off? Certain things that make you think, maybe he could use the force too. Number 1. Jedi Mind Tricks When Han is confronted by Greedo in Mos Eisley, and sorry Star Wars purists but we're using the 1997 re-edit in which Greedo shoots first for this one, Han is seen pointing at a spot on the wall with his finger slightly to his left. This turns out to be almost the exact same spot that Greedo hits when he fires. Is this a Jedi mind trick in action, with Han subtly suggesting to Greedo where to aim for? Also from the 1997 special editions, we see Han easily convince Jabba the Hutt to give him more time to pay him back. Look at Han's hand movements and Jabba's eyes. Now Jabba suddenly thinks he's the best. And how does he get away with treading on Jabba's tail like this? Number 2. Flying Skills a trait of someone who is force sensitive is they are often excellent pilots. We see this in Anakin, Luke and Rey. And now of course there are good pilots who aren't force sensitive, but some of the things Han Solo does just seem to be impossible without use of the force. From flying through the asteroid field in The Empire Strikes Back, to exiting the hangar of his freighter at light speed, to dropping out of hyperspace within the atmosphere of Starkiller Base. This one in particular would require timing down to the fraction of a second. Looks like Han's piloting skills were a lot better than Harrison Ford's in real life. Number 3. Firing while blind When Han is rescuing his old friend Lando Calrissian from the Sarlacc in Return of the Jedi, he takes a shot at the beast's tentacle, whilst still blinded and hanging upside down. He hits the target. In the same battle, he manages to take out Boba Fett by accident Jar Jar Binks stuff. Just think about that for a moment. Boba Fett is supposedly the number one bounty hunter in the galaxy. Could he really be taken out so easily? Maybe Han was just making it look like an accident. He does the same thing later on when the First Order attacks Maz Kanata's castle. I mean, come on Han, now you're just showing off. He also managed to throw this guy into a raftar from like 10 feet away. That's not just good aim, but superhuman strength. Number 4. Premonition and Mind Reading Han says many times in the movies I got a bad feeling about this Just before something bad is about to happen How does he know? Does he feel a disturbance in the force? He also knows when he's inside a space slug in the Empire Strikes Back But shouldn't the Millennium Falcon scanners or R2-D2 have picked up that the walls were made of organic matter before Han realized? Perhaps he could just feel the slug's presence Number 5. Amazing skills at locating things In the Battle of Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back, Han wants to go outside and look for Luke. 3PO tells him his chances of survival are 725 to 1. Not only does Han go outside and survive, but he finds Luke almost immediately. Also in The Force Awakens, he finds the Millennium Falcon immediately after it leaves Jakku. Perhaps he could just feel the presence of his old ship. There are people having heated discussions on online forums about all this. Many reach the conclusion that he's not force sensitive, but just protected by plot armor because he's a main character. Others think that he does have a high metachlorian count, but perhaps not high enough to be trained by the Jedi. What do you think? Is Han just the ultimate trickster? No, oh, I'm not a Jedi. <laughs> You'll need the force if you got a few tricks up your sleeve. Or will we see Han Solo's Force Ghost in The Last Jedi? Harrison Ford certainly hopes not. Guys, if you're new, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.